Back at Panzer, end of turn eight, uh, well actually kind of the admin phase of turn eight or adjustment phase, whatever you want to call it. Wanted to talk to you real quickly about close assault and hand-to-hand -hand combat. I just went through my first exercise on that and decided that I thought I knew what I was doing and then quickly realized I didn't. So the short version of all this is fairly straightforward. A close assault is always going to be some sort of action uh, against a vehicle uh, of some sort. Whereas a hand-to-hand -hand combat is going to be, funnily enough, against individuals, uh, squads and half squads and things like that. Um, and in fact, that's one thing I do need to check, I, whether that hand-to-hand uh, -hand would also include the, uh, include the uh, towed guns and things like that. But we'll, we'll work that out at uh, some later point. What I wanted to show you was this particular hex here. We had uh, some chaps in there, uh, these guys, and we've got this little you know, armored car guy here who's turned the wrong way. And so, whoops, that's the wrong guy. We don't want that counter. We need a suppression counter. Okay, so to execute a close assault, you can move up to one hex uh, to uh, what's called advancing into the combat, and you may uh, dismount into the attack as well. So the infantry here had three infantry units, and they close assaulted, and we took two squads, two full squads, squad 25 and 20, uh, 26, and we attacked the vehicle. And because I have a full squad, I have an attack strength of eight, and the chart here, I'll show you the chart here. Uh, there's a black box around for two, uh, uh, a black box around the eight for the uh, strength of a full squad, a half squad, and then I think that's a machine gun or something like that. So we have a strength of eight. And what we're going to do is then look at the defensive strength of our vehicle. And we look that up, and I think it's a one in this case for this guy. Yeah, it's a 1A one, uh, one for armored. Let's put this back over here. And so we go ahead. I'm going to try and do this fairly quickly because it's not that complicated. I'll stop pausing. So here we're on this table here, and we're going to intersect it uh, here. So real straightforward, right? 22 versus 2254. So anything under 22 on the percentile dice is no effect and anything over 22 but less than 54 uh, will have some sort of suppression effect and anything over 54 will be an effective uh, result. And an effective result will then mean something uh, depending on what the last number is that you rolled. So if it was a, a 5 it'll mean something, if it was a 9 it'll mean something, and if it's a 1 it'll mean something. There are different results for uh, the, the second digit, um, uh, depending on what you roll. And that's how you conduct it. Now you modify the, the result by these different factors here. So I said I was using two, uh, two chappies, right? Two guys uh, in the attack. Well, the second unit that you use, depending on its size, uh, will add up to 20 to the die roll which is indeed what happened here. Uh, we had a second squad, and so that, uh, that popped us up uh, and, and gave us uh, an, a nice result. Uh, unfortunately, it was only enough to suppress the unit, so it didn't have any further effect. We also added in the experience level of the units over here. You can see there's hand-to-hand -hand results and close assault, close assault results over there. You add modifiers based on whether they're elite or seasoned or green or whatever the case may be. And that's how you go, uh, go about doing that. And you do the same thing uh, on the hand-to-hand -hand, uh, modifiers. We're using, uh, you know, using the numbers across here and we just cross, cross index the result. And in this case, what happens is both sides get to attack the other side. So two, uh, the, the Germans will roll their dice and get a result and the Soviets will roll the dice and get a result. And that's really the primary difference between the two different types of attack, or what I would call ground, ground attacks uh, that, that occur. The hand-to-hand -hand side of it is both sides participating in the combat by rolling the dice to see who, what they hit and what result they get. And the result we got here was uh, a suppression 
and an effective result, which means that this unit is eliminated, and these guys uh, received a no result, so that nothing happened to them, they weren't suppressed or anything else. Uh, you don't, uh, I don't have to check on whether you advance into the hex or not, but uh, obviously with that vehicle still there and being uh, suppressed, we would not be advancing into that hex. Subsequently, we move the rest of our units uh, and we uh, are wrapping up the turn. So that's how you go about uh, goofing around with uh, close assaults and hand-to-hand -hand at the very high level. If anyone wants a further, more detailed, specific example with the die rolls and uh, walking you through the, uh, the results for brewing up or knocking out a vehicle as a result of a close assault, I will gladly take you through those. Talk to you soon.